Hello everybody, it's Kevin again and welcome back to another Woodland Camp and Craft video. I'm joined by my special guest Lily from Lily Does. Hi! Yeah, so we're coming, we're going on holiday, we're having a, a few days down at Exmoor. But we've come to get our friend um, uh, down in Leicester and the first night of the holiday we're spending it in her yurt. I'll just give you a quick pan around. So this is uh, we're inside the yard now. This is Lily in her little bedroom area. <coughs> it's so soft. Got the lights on, you candles have the on. One. We've got the bed. Wee. Lily reckons it's comfier, but it's like the old man bed. I need that for my back. Wee, it's so comfy. <laughs> it's just a mattress. Different type of video, I know, guys, but I just thought we are going camping. We are going in the woods tomorrow night at the side of the river in Exmoor somewhere. I think the place is called Or. So, we're going to get the log burner on. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, it's a clear night outside. The stars are everywhere. So, uh, Very beautiful. we're going to get a bit of heat up in here. Can you put the matches back, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Good girl. Where did you get them from? Here? Yes, darling, yeah. That little mess tin. So, shall I pour them in there? No, no, no. Well, let's put them here. Yeah. Time to go to bed in this comfy bed. Mm. That's us going to bed now. Say goodnight, Lil. the sun's out. Yeah. Are you I've, I've just always wanted to photograph the uh, Glastonbury tour, but I ain't brought the right kit for it anyway, so... A bit of Luke Jackson playing on the CD. We've had uh, Steve Player pledging all, all the other two hours of the journey. Steve Player pledging? Yeah, he was pledging really well. You're recording now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Go on, take the mic out of him so I can send him in. Oh, that's Steve Pledger. I don't know what we're going down to see him for. He's not very interested in seeing us. That's what he said last night. Yeah, not, Steve Pledger's not very interested. All well, the promoting we've done. I know, I know. He's not well, interested in you know, we seeing had us. a whole packet of sausages when he came by us. Yeah, a whole pack of sausages. Yeah. It's just Lukey. So we're not far now, we're not far from where we're going to be camping. But it's 
just wanted to pull over just to get a visual record of Dunster Castle up on the hill. But yeah, the zoom on this, I'm nearly in the window. Yeah, sun's out, it's beautiful. We left Leicestershire in the absolute torrential rain. Apparently it's not even been raining here. It's absolutely glorious. Stunning everywhere you look, it's just stunning. There's no sea that moved the sea, did they? Oh. They've moved it. It's probably only over that hill, but they've moved it. <laughs> this is a steep, steep hill for an old mountain woodland. Low gear, please. Oh, look how steep this is. Come on, car. <laughs> We're going backwards. The gas gauge first. Holy moly. First gear, first gear, it's because I've got you in the car, Ken. Hey, blame it on the fat kid, why don't you? I will, I will. See! See, can't see the see, see. See over there. Hey, he is giving up. Hey, get them calf muscles going. Poor girl, so it's knacked. That's the thing when you walk around the Lake District, everyone's just had monster calves. You've just stuck through it. This can no longer be a PG movie, is that one? <laughs> I apologise unreservedly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just feel like I was going to puke up then. Yeah, I'm glad to go there. Nice trees. Public nice. footpath. Just hang the hammocks on the public footpath. You say that, public footpath. <laughs> I'd have no problem hanging my hammock there. Oh yeah, I could have my hammock there with that sea view, no problem. Just taking a bit detour. Exmoor Wild Ponies. Amazing sight. Just on the side of the road there. Oh look, that's that scenic toll road. This <laughs> <laughs> is it, proper beach. Waves and everything. Scenic toll road, £2.50 just to drive through the woods. It's not something I totally agree with. Should be our God given right. Part of me wants to go and see what's there. It's got to be well, something a bit special, isn't it? Yeah, it's that what we've just seen, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose so. It was rather special, though. It was really special, but to pay £2.50 to drive through a mile through a section of road that's. I don't really agree with. Just the first name that comes to me, Ed. It's come a long way from my WSA. I like a gangster name or something. In 200 yards, turn right onto Hookway Hill. It's very pretty. It's not, it's not, the, it's not the biggest bridge in the world, man. Oh, well, that water is crystal. This side is much prettier than your side. No, my side's, the, my side's the best. I don't think so. Nice. There'll be some trout in there, I'm sure. Not that we're going to do any illegal fishing, are we? Shh. Get that in the video. Shh. We're not going to do any, are we? I would have done if I brought the kid. Nice little church. Was possessed to paint the porch white. <laughs> Look, Robbers Bridge. Oh. Robbers Bridge. Do you like it, mate? Yeah.
Where Dad cooked and stuff. What time is it anyway? Uh, it was about half eight when I woke up. Oh, that's alright. We've not slept in too late then. I seen a bit of sun on the top and I thought it's late. Ah, that's alright. Good morning, everybody. So, we've uh, we arrived at the camp yesterday that was planned to go. After the woman guaranteed us there'd be trees to hang from, and there wasn't. So, we've had to literally just literally come half a mile down the road and we found another campsite. Just helped ourselves to a field and <laughs> hope for the best, put the, put the hammocks up. But all is good. Yeah, the, uh, the owner came and she was like, "Are you just suspending? <laughs> are you just suspending sleeping bags from the trees and sleeping in them?" I was like, "No, dear, the hammock." And she goes, "Oh, this is all very bare grills for me." But she charges us like twelve ten, and we're all here. So I had a good night, apart from uh, one of my DD Metal Carabiners ping last night. I don't know if it's broken because we can't find it because it went flying off, but I landed on the deck. So to give you a quick pan round of the the camp. And the campers. Morning tea or coffee as the case may be. So that's Zala's set up. There's set up. My set up. And this is this is the campsite. We're on a flat pot. Flat uh, spot. Totally surrounded by hills everywhere. There you go. There's a 360 pan. Can't see it just down there. It's just a little river. The people have pitched like a metre away from the river. Um, I would have done the same if there was trees there, but there wasn't. We've seen plenty of wildlife, pheasant coming to camp last night, deers was barking at us. Uh, there's a couple of different types of owls out. Something successfully got a meal last night, I don't know what it was, but some squealing going on. Something definitely got it. So it goes. So today I think we're going to go and find a steam train. We're going to go. Um, we're going to have a ride on one. I've never seen one in the real life, in real person. Um, so we're going to go see one, film one, and then we might go down to Kilwa Beach and have a look for some fossils. So, all exciting stuff, and I'll bring you in when we're doing that stuff. Let's get, up, let's get a view of that, son. Glory. Glory. So we just got into Dunster to ride on the uh, steam train. Went to the loo. Traveling back in time around here. Hold your ticket on. That's why I said the lady just jump across. <laughs> Loads of bad. Firewood for days.
can't do this. I can't do a selfie, so we're doing a video, a video camera selfie on the steam train. This is both our first ever time on the steam train. Yeah, I've never been on one. I've never even seen one in real life before. Choo -choo. So, would you like to tell everyone what you carved at camp? Uh, I carved a big anchor. You carved an anchor? Oh, yeah. Well done, Lily. How long did that take you, Lily? Uh, five seconds. Five seconds? Yes. Well, you took, it took you time, but you'll improve with time. <laughs> you'll, you'll get a bit faster. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit shallow, kiddo. That side's all dried up. It's mud. Yeah. Maybe we could go down some steps. Not yours, is it? Oh dear. Not exactly something to see every day, is it? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, mate. This one's having a worse day than us. I think it's already popped once. Is that a car next to it going to go up next to it? Yeah, it's full of smoke, absolutely full of smoke. Yeah. Has anyone called fire? We've just done it, yeah. <laughs> That's the tie you've done. The, other thing, the only thing is though, the other one's going to go in it. Yeah. And whoever was that po uh, Volkswagen is. Well, that's going to go. But red car next to it's just... The smoke, there's more smoke coming out to the inside of the other one. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the sirens. We was only parts over there earlier as well, thank God. When I got past it, they went back and come back. What starts it though is an electrical fault for me, isn't it? Yeah, it's right under the engine, that. Someone's 
going to annoy stay out, look. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's having a really bad day when they find that. It was. That's only a minute or so. That. There's better ways to take care of the ivy like <laughs> than that. Yeah. The other car's leaning now, it must have been the... It must have been the... <laughs> 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 it's been a Left of it, is it? Boy, it stinks. Let's get out of here. That's, yeah. that's a bit toxic. <laughs> well, say hello to this one. Mont Min. Say hello to this one. Come on. Good. Give her a smooth look. Yeah, look. There, there. She's yeah, yeah. wagging her tails. Oh. Molly, you come over. You were the one barking. No, you should be all right. You just give her a smooth. Hello, and you're lovely. And you're lovely. There you go. Come in. Where? Come stand under this sign. What's this? It's the Dunster Yarn Market. 17th century yarn market. Hello! So here we are then boys, bacon Saturday, we know the rules, it's not an uh, open fire but we are down in Devon so, you know, nice uh, trade, nice sacrifice to make, we, we do have, actually have a fire pit on site but uh, wood is ridiculously scarce so we're only keeping the fires for night, but there we go, Some bacon Saturdays. So, Bacon Saturday just got a little bit more interesting. It's so, alright, camera talking again. <laughs> the weather has just got grim. We had a lot through the night, a lot of wind and rain. Now, it's set in alright.
Yeah? It's gorgeous in 10 minutes. You've just missed Arlo, she was doing the rain dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I really did it well, didn't I? Ah, <laughs> oh, God, my hands, it's just, I'm alright. It's just my hands are a bit... On the chilly side. Perhaps after your you yoghurt then, you'll have to put your boots on. Have they given you a sore patch or something? Mm, yeah. I've got plasters if you want. Plasters on your sore bits if you want. Put your boots on, get some warm feet. When the tide comes in, babe, this will be full. Uh, I would love to have a go on the... I would like to have a go on that blue one. On the blue one? Yeah. I want like... It's a bit like that one over there. I wouldn't like to have a go on any because I'd just throw up. Yeah. And when you lean over the edge, you might... So you don't want to come to us too you make the boat tip. I didn't. Depends on how far it is. I don't, I, it might be worth having it. Might be worth it might be worth throwing, throwing up. up over the side for. Yeah. I'll let you know. We went when we went to Bridlington and said if it's bad weather we'll come back and you missed the tide. Oh. And I was stuck on it all day. Nine or ten hours or whatever. Sun just on the hill. Can I walk down there? Let's wait for the pledges. What a pretty place. Kids are embarrassed. Someone's knocking on the door. There's a rock. There's a rock. There's one or two. Out whales ah! and just pick out whales. <laughs> oh, lost it. Down there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do you think? You think there'll be salmon in there? Um. I've just seen, the only thing is, I've just seen a load of postcards with salmon postcards, so 
I'd imagine that this is a salmon run. But I bet this was built. I bet this was built after the floods. Yeah. Very pretty place. Oh, go on then, sweet pea. Just go straight across the road, just while we record this, okay? little town. If we had nice weather it would almost feel abroad. Oh. Stand there a minute. Ice cream, gourds, southern ice weather. Ice cream for ice cream. You scream for ice cream, do you? See the rainbow touching the floor. I'm just gonna go through the cloud. Lily, you, you've always wanted to go through a cloud, haven't you? The silence is golden. Not. <laughs> no one on this behind it. No one on that side of the screen knows about the noisy present. <laughs> onto Kilver Beach and we've come fossil hunting. Never sorry about the wind it's going to have some effect on the sound quality but such is life. Interesting fact we learned from Mr Steve Pan. Um, this is uh, Kilver Beach was the location for the Brian Adams everything I do I do it for you music video so let's go hunting let's see if we can find some fossils I already found seaweed. Come on then 
I do it for you. You're recording, aren't you? I am recording, indeed, I am. Me too. Remember, we need a bearing block. Oh, right. And something with a natural divot in it. Or I have to spend hours making one. Slate level. Yeah. It's got like a perfectly straight line of colour change. We're supposed to do straight line. Come on, fossils, where are you? Days like these, they're few and far between. When the devil's off our backs and the slate is clean. When all there is is who we are when we are. We've got nothing left to prove or to atone for. And if I could, I surely would. And if I could, I surely would write days like these. like these when we leave the world behind 
Just for a little while It's out of sight and out of mind Cause all that's good and all that's bad And all that we hold dear Will come tomorrow when we wake We'll still be here And if I could, I surely would And if I could, I surely would Write days like these And you Oh, you are my part in every storm And you Oh, you are safety, you are warmth, and you are peace on days like these. Days like these, they don't come around much anymore. Sometimes life can take its toll on what we're living for. Oh, but these days help reaffirm what we both know. That we are strong enough to take All that life can throw And if I could, I surely would If I could, I surely would And if I could, I surely would Write days like these So everybody, that brings us to the end of another video. I really do hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. If you do, I'd really appreciate it if you give a, a big thumbs up down below. Um, it really helps me to understand that I'm uh, putting out videos that everyone is enjoying uh, and it'll help the channel grow. Uh, if you are new to the channel, then please uh, subscribe. If you want to see more videos of me getting out in the woods and the rest of us doing camping and everything else, if that's what you want to see. For all my regular viewers, um, don't forget to comment down below uh, if you have any questions or if you just want to say hello. Um, I do try and answer uh, every comment personally um, as I do enjoy interacting with you. Um, if anyone wants to see any more of me, you can catch me on Tuesday nights on the MTFU Bushcraft Live YouTube chat and on Thursday night for the Woodland Camp and Craft Live YouTube chat. Both are stream live at about 9 o'clock. So catch me there. Till the next one guys. Bye bye.